Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As a matter of fact, welcome to 2024. It's a nice sunny day in Arizona in the month of January. Um, as a matter of fact, I've had the 2023 Winnebago Solus 59PX for six months now. So I figure in today's video, we'll go ahead and do our six month review. But as always, before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you don't miss out on any informative content. All right, let's get started. Um, so typically what I like to do is I like to start on the outside first, just go around the van and just talk about any, um, any parts of the van or any situations where um, you know, we didn't necessarily like or things that we absolutely loved. And so let's just go ahead and start on the outside first. Um, so I'm going to hit every piece in detail as well. So excuse the detail of the video or the lengthy video, but I just want to um, make note of every possible um, part, every possible situation. So the sewer hose compartment, um, after six months, that's still intact. No issues there. Um, let's move around to the 30 amp plug. Um, you know, I've seen on previous travel trailers that sometimes this, this light right here will just, um, burn out rather quickly. Um, and so far, even with my Winnebago Travato, that did not burn out. And so far right here with the Winnebago Solus, that blue light is still working when connected. Um, I previously did a video with the cassette toilet, tips and tricks. Um, after six months, no issues with the cassette toilet. So let's come down here to the gray waste tank drain. Um, I've seen a couple of videos where that application just completely ripped off and, you know, that's, that's such a shame, you know, maybe, I don't know, I, I can't put my finger on it, but so far it's been pretty good, pretty snug, pretty tight. The bolts are not loose or anything, um, of that nature. So no issues there. Um, let's see. So if we move up to the top L C D light there. Um, no issues with the light burning out. Um, no issues with the windows. Um, so the window seals are still pretty good. Sorry, the van is a little bit dirty. Um, but no issues with the window seals, any moisture or water getting through. Um, both windows are still um, doing pretty good after six months. So let's walk around um, the folding mirrors. So those are power folding mirrors. No issues there. They're still working rather well. Um, okay, so one of the things I did want to point out was the tire pressure. Now, it is a little bit colder this year in Arizona. Um, but I will have to say that only after having the van for six months, the tire pressure reduced dramatically. Um, and I'll just give you a comparison. When I had my 2022 Winnebago Travato, um, I didn't have to put air in the tires for two years. I mean, those tires, same tires, those the tire pressure held up for two years. Um, and so this time around, again, I, 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 I will blame it on the colder weather. Um, it is a bit colder here in Arizona, but after six months, I did have to um, put air back in the tires. Uh, as a matter of fact, I just got back from the dealer and just uh, making sure that the tire pressure is, um, where it's supposed to be for front and back. So the front is 65, the back is 80. 
Um, so those tires are good to go. So, I mean, on the outside, that's pretty much been my only gripe. Okay, let's move around to the front. So, um, the headlights, the fog lights, everything's working as expected. I've heard that um, on the bottom window seal that sometimes this, this comes, um, I guess, unglued. Um, but that hasn't been the case. Everything is still nice and intact. The windshield wipers are working as expected. Um, the lights up top are still working, so none of the the light fuses have fizzed out, um, so that's good. So working around to this side, um, I think the only thing I want to touch base on this side is the LP station. Um, so we did have the opportunity to use it in our last camping trip. Um, the LP gas works uh, with the Truma heater, uh, the Truma heating system. So everything works as expected, no issues. I didn't have to uh, fill up the LP tank, so we still have about maybe half to three quarters um, of gas left, so that, that's pretty good. Um, all right, I think that's everything I want to talk about on this side because the windows are still um, holding their seal. No issues there. So everything looks pretty good. Um, all right, so let's talk about the bug cover real quick. I don't think I mentioned it, or maybe I did. I can't remember. Um, I think I did a 120 day review, but I definitely want to bring it up. So this, this, um, bug screen in comparison to the Winnebago Travato, which was a Rolf bug screen, it was just, um, that bug screen was a, a little more durable. Um, the quality you can tell in comparison between that and this bug screen, it's a little, it's a little flimsier. Um, it still works fine. Nothing's broken off or torn or anything like that. The only thing you do have to pay attention to is this is um, kind of put together with Velcro. So you just have to make sure that one, it's um, sticking to the van and then two, you know, the Velcro side is Sometimes it'll come off, so you just have to make sure that that's, you know, sticking there. Um, all right, so that is my one gripe with the bug screen. Okay, so the pop-up tent, uh, we did have the opportunity to sleep up top. It's, it's uh, very comfortable. I would highly recommend to and you know this is common sense of course so when you're camping in in the van common sense applies for sure um, but i would highly recommend not having the pop-up open in windy conditions or even when it's raining um i didn't uh i didn't have it open when it was raining, I did have it open when it was, you know, slightly windy and you could definitely feel um, the sway and that uh, was a little concerning for me, but uh, still rock solid, no issues, uh, ra very comfortable um, and even in the cooler conditions, very, very warm. Um, it's nice because and I do have a video on the pop-up tent on what it looks like up there, the ventilation that you have and the lighting and the USB plugs that you have. But with the ventilation um, open, you get a nice breeze, especially when it's windy. Um, but, uh, you know, no issues. So after six months, um, everything is working as expected. 
Um, let's continue to move on in. So just real quick, cover the, the driver uh, and passenger side area. No issues with uh, the infotainment system, with the radio, the wireless charger still works well. Um, the braking system still works. The start-stop system still works. All the controls on the steering wheels work. The dash works. None of the lights have fizzed out. Everything's working as expected. So that's a plus. Um, our instrument panel here for the RV, everything's working as expected. Um, everything's reading correctly. So the Truma system works, the Winnebago. So your LPG and your battery indicators are still working. The gray take indicator still working. Um, everything's working as expected. Um, okay, so to be honest, I have not had the opportunity to utilize the holding tank heaters. So maybe in a future video, we'll, we'll talk and a uh, little bit more on that, but I'm assuming everything works okay. Uh, the solar charge controller, um, as you can see, is working. The solar panels are charging the house batteries as we speak. Um, this is something I, I got and I absolutely enjoy it because, um, you know, it's, it's a command product. You just stick it to um, the panel here and this is a place you can hang your keys so that re works really well i mean in addition to the flying w <laughs> you can't com can't have too much key space or hanging your hat or hanging your jacket whatever the case may be but um, i'll put a link in the description to below to, to show you where you can get that if you're interested um okay so the panel the uh Control panels here, so no issues with the coach battery when switching on or off. Um, the plugs here, I have not had an opportunity to use either of these plugs. So maybe in a future video we'll talk about that. The um, internal light switch and the... Um, outside light switch those are working as expected the refrigerator is working well no issues uh, refrigerator is working as expected comes in handy for some cold drinks that's for sure <coughs> okay so let's take a quick look here okay so the bathroom um, everything's working as expected. No issues with the shower, with the toilet. Uh, I, I did point out in a previous video, I think it might have been my 60-day review, but I do want to mention again that this magnet is pretty stiff. So you have to pull a little with some force. Um, but I will say that when you are opening the door this top edge will scrape against this light so you have to be careful you just kind of have to you know bend it bend the doors and then open it so just be be mindful when you're opening the door because you know for the first few times when i had the van um i was just opening it straight out and it was kind of scratching the glass a little bit or the plastic um but yeah as long as you keep that in mind i'm sure you'll be just fine um the sink works well i uh, finally had the opportunity to use the propane stove the propane stove works very well um no issues there the uh eco hot system uh, I used that once just to make sure it was working, but, um, you know, the benefit there really is if you're going to take a shower. Um, uh, other than that, I, I don't really, I don't really use it per se. So just in my opinion, it's good to have if you're taking a shower. What it does is it empties, it empties all of the water um 
back into your fresh water tank and so as immediately as soon as you turn on the hot water you get hot water instantly um, okay so the fresh water tank level light that still works um, meaning that the that the fuse has not burned out so I will say that none of the fuses have burned out and that's pretty good because in my 2022 Winnebago Travato, I had I had three fuses burn out like maybe after getting close to the one year mark. Um, practically all of them started burning out, uh, you know, right at the two year mark. But it was kind of frustrating and annoying to start changing those fuses when the van wasn't even a year old. So the Winnebago Solus all the fuses they're still um operating and working great no issues there so winnebago did a great job um building this particular van all right um the table leg that obviously works no issues um the bed is working it's comfortable um my wife and I sleep very comfortably on that, no issues. The uh, the screw mechanisms are still intact, no issues there. Um, um, let me see, what else? Oh, let's talk about the plumbing system real quick. So the plumbing system, you know, we've had an opportunity to um, basically utilize all of the settings. So when we're dry camping, you know, that will, um, that setting is so that you can pull water from your freshwater tank. And then um, when you want to fill up your freshwater tank with a city water hose connection, that's what power tank fill is. Um, so no issues, no issues there. Um, and obviously when you're at an RV park campground and you're connected to city water, um, the city water connection works well. So there's no leaks and, um, uh, winterizing. So winterizing, <clears throat> I did winterize, um, um, for the trip out here from Washington to Arizona. Um, and so I had to winterize the van just to make sure nothing, um, nothing froze or anything of that nature. And so the winterization process was pretty smooth, no issues there. And then I did uh, share in a previous video on how you can um, use the sanitize setting to siphon water um so let's say you're you've been camping boondocking for a couple of days and and uh you realize you're out of water in your fresh water tank but you're smart you bring extra jugs of water and so you know what you can do is you can siphon water from your water jugs into your fresh water tank literally takes seconds using the sanitize setting and if you read it um, it does say siphon to tank via pump so normally that's where you would you know siphon your your uh, bleach solution um, to make sure that your fresh water lines and tank is sanitized but that is also a place or a setting where you can siphon um, water into your fresh water tank. And so that um, process worked nicely as well. So I haven't had the opportunity to use um, any of these plugs here, but the water pump back here and the light switch works just fine. Um, the, the garage section I normally just use to store all of my hoses um so i haven't really you know put any bikes back here or anything like that um 
and use the the hooks to secure the bikes what i what i do is i have <clears throat> i have a bike rack which i just use the receiver for the tow receiver to put my bike rack on and and just haul my bikes that way um the air conditioner so the air conditioner has been working fine no issues um yeah the smoke alarm <laughs> that hasn't <laughs> You know, you pro everyone probably knows what I'm talking about when I say smoke alarm batteries. Because when those batteries run out, it's just a constant beep and it's extremely annoying. Um, but no no issues with, with the smoke alarm or the carbon monoxide alarms as well. So, um, after six months, everything is working as expected. Um... You know, the, the brake lights and the tail lights are working as expected. No issues there. So the only, the only you know, I would say the only main gripe <clears throat> after six months is, is the tire pressure. The tire pressure, for some reason, just, you know, decreased somewhat substantially um, after only six months. And that, that was, you know, kind of annoying. Um, but other than that, the van is in great, great shape. It's looking good. So I'm curious if any of you others have, um, done a six month review or something similar and you've noticed some different issues or situations. And, um, if that's the case, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and you found this helpful. Um, if so, please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time on The Healthy Traveler.